you'll find that the cone structure kind of combines elements of the cylindrical process and other forms. Essentially what you're doing is making most of a cylinder but cutting it off with a triangular wedge. So it begins in much the same way. You do the base ellipse and measure measure the axis side to side and you measure the ellipse's symmetry. So what I'm doing here is creating a central axis and tangent points on the side so that I can begin to judge how perfect this ellipse actually is and I begin to immediately modify it to be more in line with what I see. Then I'm bringing up the central axis as high as I need to plus a little bit extra so I can be sure that when I cut this cone off that I have enough axis to go with. Then all I have to do is connect the dots. Pick a, pick a point for the height of the cone or measure it by measuring the width of the ellipse versus the height of the cone and then connect the dots from the tangent points all the way up. Next what I can do is I can find out exactly where the shadow side begins and that's what this vertical line is. And I just like I did in the cylinder, I draw a line directly across from tangent point to tangent point intersecting through the middle. Then I can pull tangent lines just like I did with the cylinder and then I can subdivide them to make it more accurate to the cone itself. That way I've created a pattern for my shadow and I can just kind of fill it in and I can also be sure that the triangular shadow pattern matches. 